Kung naghahanap kayo ng Axie Infinity inspired pero dragons ang gamit na assets or characters, then you came to the right place. Hi everyone, I'm Modern Mulan and today we're going to cover Dragon Mainland. Napakadaling i-explain na laro ito, gagamitin natin yung game trailer nila habang nag-play yon. ay i-explain natin yung mga pangyayari. Pero bago natin gawin yan, please make sure you're subscribed para wala kayong mamiss sa mga ganitong klase nating content. And if you want me to continue making videos about NFT play to earn games, please do click the like button and comment kung anong video you want us to do next. So going back, nandito tayo sa dragonmainland.io And then we will be playing yung game trailer and i-explain natin yung game as we go along the trailer. For Dragon Mainland, we can expect na yung mga dragons na bibilhin natin are NFTs or collectibles at isa siyang DeFi play to earn game. Ang way para maka-earn tayo dito ay kapag nanalo tayo sa mga PvP at PvE. So, ito yung mga na-encounter natin sa ecosystem nila. Merong dragons, bones, lands, and buildings. Dahil nga NFT sa mga ito, they are unique, hindi pwedeng baguhin, kopyahin, o sirain ng iba. Pero sa lahat na nabanggit natin na NFTs na available, ang dragon ang main asset natin. Kaya pwede silang i-level up by training. Ang lakas na isang dragon ay nakadepende sa tatlong bagay. So we have attributes, skills, and genes. Meron ring tinatawag na arithmetic attribute. Dito mag-base kung gaano kalakas makakapag-mine or kumita. Sa kakatrain natin ng dragon, the more powerful they become at magiging mas mataas din yung kikitain natin. So kung gusto nyo makita yung ranking ng dragons, pwede nyo i-check yung battle power ranking. Ang mystery boxes sa gameplay ay isa rin sa mga pwede nating laruin kung saan araw-araw dito magre-release sila ng dragon treasure chest. Dragon bones ang makukuha natin dito. etong dragon bones yung gagamitin natin para lumakas yung attributes ng dragon. Take note lang na kapag ginamit natin yung dragon bones pang level up ay maburn na ito so hindi na natin sila pwedeng gamitin ulit. Random quality and attributes ng bones sa makukuha natin, broken down yan sa tatlo. We have elementary, intermediate, and advanced. Tapos etong mga nasa taas naman, yung mga limang klase na attributes. Rock, paper, scissors type rin yung mga to, wherein fire, talo water, talo rock, talo storm, talo thunder, talo fire. Aside pa sa elements, meron pa silang attributes na health, attack, defense, speed, at life force. So, if flash natin sa screen yung mga basic combat attributes nila, pag-usapan muna natin yung initial skill focus ng mga dragons. For fire dragons, sila yung maganda para sa violent combat. Water dragons naman for assist and regeneration or heal. Rock dragons for defense and control. Tapos, speed dragon naman yung mga agile or may fast attack. And then, thunder dragons are the best for damage. Kagaya ng mga karamihan ng NFT games like Axie Infinity, Monster Infinite, Playermon, Importante yung tatlong characters or NFTs na pipiliin natin para makapag-build ng isang team. So, balikan natin yung Dragon Bones kanina for leveling up. Kapag nakakuha na tayo ng limang Dragon Bones na merong same attribute, halimbawa, eto ay may 5 elementary elements, so may chance ka makakuha ng higher level na bone. Moving on naman sa in-game currency nila, we have DMS at DMP. DMS stands for Dragon Mainland Shards, which is the governance token of Dragon Mainland. Makukuha daw to by liquidity mining, pledging mining of the revenue aggregate, or by playing the games. Pwede rin natin gamitin yung mga to pambili ng NFTs sa game. Ang gagawin na rin sa game ay mag invest siya sa sarili niya by buying yung DMS na nasa marketplace, which is always nice to hear. Usually, yung mga games na gumagawa ng ganito, sila yung mabilis na mag-grow talaga. Ang other in-game currency naman dito is yung DMP or Dragon Miracle Potion. Ito yung mapapanalunan natin as rewards from PvE and PvP. Then we can use it for dragon breeding, bones, and devouring. Yun naman nabanggit natin kanina na player aggregate ay pwede natin gamitin para makapag-mine ng coins and earn from that as well. So kung interested kayo sa game so far, I highly recommend 
na bisitahin nyo to para makita nyo rin what you guys can expect from the game. As for their roadmap, there's a lot to look forward to. So as we're recording this na October 2021, ongoing yung airdrop pre-registration nila. To register, punta kayo sa website. May dragon egg sa lower right nila. Click nyo yon Or kapag ka-open yun ng website nila, merong lalabas na Genesis Dragon Eggs tab. Click nyo yung learn more doon. And then complete nyo lang yung email registration. And then you will get an invitation link for the airdrop. Pagkatapos nun, mag-submit ka lang ng form. And then registered na kayo. Kung gusto nyo rin maging updated sa mga announcements nila, sa mga airdrops, giveaways, and all that, you can follow them on their social media accounts. Ililink natin yan sa baba dahil ayoko ng nahihirapan kayo. Last October 15, 2021, yung Genesis Dragon Egg Rush nila, yung first round for that. Kung saan na sold out yung 1,000 Genesis Dragons in 3 seconds lang. Bilis ba? By the end of October or around early November daw, ilo-launch naman ng IDO, tapos DEX listing, marketplace launch, breeding system, and liquidity mining. Lahat ng yan maabangan natin either end of this month or early November. For late November naman, ang goal nila is ma-launch na yung blind box, training system, and the PVE. And then for December, we can expect yung combat system na malalaunch na. I think out of the games na review natin so far, isa ang Dragon Mainland sa mga may okay na white paper. Yung mga initial questions ko about the game nung tinitignan ko pa lang ito, were really answered there. Nasa white paper rin nila yung tokenomics and even the team. Hindi lang yung mga names ng leaders but also yung experiences and qualifications nila to lead or head the team. I guess yung hinahanap ko na lang ngayon is yung partners and investors nila. I'm hoping that as they continue to grow, malagay rin nila yung mga partners and investors sa website nila. If you guys are curious kung ano yung gagawin ko, paano ako mag invest dito, Ang uh, sinasabi ko naman, usually magi invest lang ako ng malaki kapag na-launch na yung mismong game at na-try ko na siya. Kasi dahil marami ng play-to-earn game options ngayon, um, I want a game na hindi lang kikita pero enjoyable din. So my personal game plan now is kagaya lang ng sa ibang games. Um, kapag siguro lumabas na yung coin nila, I will trade it every now and then. Tapos babantayan natin yung updates and their community. Tapos siguro will buy one team and try the gameplay. Kayo, may strategy rin ba kayo when it comes to investing sa mga play to earn games? Magtulungan tayo. Sharing is caring. Comment your strategies below kung anong ginagawa nyo personally, kung pareho ba tayo. Kung ano yung mga red flags nyo sa game. Pag-usapan natin lahat yan. And like I said kanina, if you want more content like this, let me know by liking, sharing, and subscribing. In the meantime, I highly recommend you to watch these two videos na nasa screen nyo as well. May playlist tayo ng other play to earn games and trading videos just for you. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you sa comment section and hopefully see you in other videos. Bye!